Hello to all my YouTube friends and welcome to another one of my videos. This time we're exploring the beautiful beach town of Mune. Just three and a half hours, well it was four hours for us with traffic from, uh, from Ho Chi Minh City. And also I want to make an announcement that I hit a thousand subscribers. For everyone who has subscribed, thank you very, very much. It means a lot to me. And those of you watching, uh, check it out. And uh, if my video isn't any good, then definitely don't subscribe. But if you like it, hit that subscribe and like button. Thank you. Looking online for places to stay in Mune, we realize that there's so many high-end places that there's much more supply than there is demand. So even though they look so impressive, the prices are not, are not nearly what you might expect them to be. It is definitely a buyer's market. The place we decided to stay was the Mune Bay Resort, which was definitely decorated in the style of the Champa people. Okay, here's a little video of our place. You can see the ocean right between the trees there, so we're, looks like about maybe 100, 200 uh, meters away. Oh, it looks nice. Air conditioning works really well. Well, look at that. That's a jacuzzi. Even a little outdoor space. And a nice shower. But look at that bathtub. Beautiful. Okay, a little bit of storage. You never expect too much storage, but we got it. looks okay. And now we're going to go out and see the best part balcony. Wow. Got our two little seats. Not quite the ocean view, but that's okay. We're really close. We can look at those beautiful flowers. You can see the other bungalows. Beautiful. You can have the Apsara dances on the wall. The Po Sa Inu Chempa Temple Complex is an absolute must-see for anyone interested in Vietnamese history and culture. Built in the 9th century, it consists of three temples, which represents the Buffalo Deity, Linga Deity, and the Fire Deity. stop is the ferry stream, the immensely popular Red River. Uh, people come from all over to visit this site because it is like being on another planet and I've never seen anything like it and I would recommend it for anyone who comes to Mune. So 
So anyways, there was a guy on the riverbed with his pet snake offering to take pictures, letting you take pictures with the snake for $2 Canadian. So I reluctantly said yes, but he was, I don't know, trying to impress me, so he kept wrapping it tighter around my neck so the snake's head was right by my ear. Just so you know, you're going barefoot's okay, but you are going to come across some rocks and some places you're going to have to want to be a little bit careful. So keep that in mind. Walking down Fairy Creek is probably the closest I've ever felt to being at one with nature. Especially on a weekday when it's not too crowded. It's such a serene and peaceful time. Definitely like a North American dessert. A lot of sugar in this, but wow. Sand dunes now. And uh, it's been many years since we've been here, and it's certainly a lot more commercialized. I mean, the beauty of it is, is still, you know, awestruck, uh, is how I feel every time I see this red sand. And if you look, it is so light and, and fluffy, it's almost like dust. You can see all the people that are uh, going to slide, slide down. Um, and there's a lot of garbage on here too. I don't remember that from before. White Sands Beach here in Monet. A little more crowded than I remember from last time. We just came from the red sand. Now just have a look at this beautiful sand. I mean, it's not a pebble in it. So uh, we, they, they do the do uh, quadding and jeeping down here. I've done it before, but I'm gonna get some video of some other people. White sand really looks impressive next to the green, lush uh, vegetation in the river. And you'll also see the wind turbines, which are all over Mune. They seem to love the wind turbines. 
And for all of you that come to Munay and think it's all red sand dunes, white sand dunes, Champa ruins, seafood, um, the beaches are immense here. We drove along the coast, you can pick your beach. So if you're not thinking beaches in Munay, you're going to be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> second night, after a long day of activities, we decided to have dinner at our resort. This is our walk from our day. So we're starting out with uh, scallops and oysters with some peanuts, crushed peanut and green onion. And it looks like there's some uh, squid in the middle. And then what is this? special kale. Hot pot to go with the soup. Oh, okay. okay. So you put that and cook it in with the soup. And it. Looks like and there's some is pork. I have no salad. idea. Some noodles. Fish salad. Fish salad. Spring rolls. Spring rolls. Tom yum. Tom yum soup. And what is this plate here? This big one. Tom yum soup. Tom yum we for, for the it. soup. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna try this Vietnamese some kind of fish salad. Is what it was described to me huh? as. Do you have a cracker? Mmm. Wow. I'm going to have some more of that. During our dinner, we spent, we got a lucky enough to have a seat right by this ring with the water show. Amazing what they can do with water. They can write words and put hearts. We decided to get some ice cream and they got these trucks. There's three of them in a row here and every ice cream place is so busy right on the water. Say hi! Okay, so now I'm going to try this ice cream. It's kind of a ritual in any of the places here in Vietnam. Everyone always sits for an ice cream. The sidewalks are always loaded. I got a chocolate uh, coconut. Let's see how it goes here. Yeah, I can eat that all day. Yeah, look at all the ice cream places there are along the street. Everyone sells ice cream. Yeah, for our last day, we were hoping to go to Taku Mountain Pagoda and ride the cable car up there to see the uh, longest reclining Buddha in Vietnam, which uh, lies at 50 meters. But because we were advised that the road construction was so bad and it was such a long drive, we uh, were going to have to do it at another time. But we did find another great pagoda on the way to the airport, the Chua Bu Sun Temple, which is a brilliant, awesome temple. Here it is here, and it's uh, a great second choice. everyone who watched my video especially right to the end like this I really hope you like it and if you did and you can help me to get to 2,000 subscribers I'm really uh, shocked I even got to 1,000 I'm only doing this for fun but um, until next time I want you to treat people the way you want to be treated and we will see you on our next video peace out